update on SoFi for the end of the week on 715. So we had a great day today, a 6.5% gain. And the question is, are we starting this third wave right here? And I'm kind of torn, to be honest, uh, because we had such a strong day. And I want to say that this is the next leg up. But the chart is saying that, from what I see, is saying that we have one more move down. And another thing is, I think that SPY is also going to retrace 50% next week. Um, so, or that's, that's pretty much what I'm expecting. And so that would mean we would move down here as well. My target, though, on this right here... I'll go over it right now. We have one, two, three, four, five. So that would be A. And then we have A, B, C, B. So based on that, If we zoom in here though on the 15 minute time frame, you'll see right here, we bottomed right here, A, B, C, down. So that's an A wave, that's a B wave, and then one, two. This looks like a third wave right here. So one, two. Double check here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're making a fourth wave is what I see. So if that's the case, we would be looking for possibly up to here, but it's probably more likely that we're going to see a double top here. Maybe one more move higher up to double top here at 637, maybe early in the week. If that is the case, then I would expect a C wave to come down and just be a normal flat down here to 575. And then that would be the end of the second wave. So we'd have C wave out here probably on the 18th or 19th. Just like that. And then we would have SPY at 378, we'd have SOFI at 575, and then the next move would take SPY to like 394, and SOFI would move up to 750 to $8. So we're very, very close to the breakout. And if I'm wrong, and this just keeps on going, then, um, we're going to need a big pump here on Monday. But like I said, I don't see it happening because SPY is probably going to correct on Monday. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. I originally thought that this was A, B, C, B, and then a five-wave move right here. But the problem is this right here didn't break the low of this, and this would have been a third wave. So it doesn't make any sense. And then also this right, this impulse move is almost finished. And this would have to have been a third wave. And since it's, it's almost finished and it's barely getting to the top of wave one, it just looks like it's just a B wave. So A, A, B, C, B, and then a C wave down here is most likely. And then we head to about 750 or $8. And the dollar fell today too. And that's another thing to look at. The dollar is falling from 109 to pretty substantially too. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. But we still haven't got a red bar on the... This could potentially be the end of the third wave, but I don't think so. Um, it's probably just how I have it drawn up. We're going to see a fourth wave while SPY goes to 400, and then we'll see one more pump for the fall to 340 but currently i would say it's most likely we get abc abc and then one more five wave move down here um which will 
give us the pump to get to eight bucks. So that's the way I see it. And we're also over bot right here. We're, it's, it went pretty crazy today. And if we draw a parallel line here, let's say we double top, then of course we can bring it down here and the C wave should come down here. So that's what I see. A lot of people are getting really excited, but, and I mean, it is exciting. We're finally above $6 and we're pumping on a day. So it's a good day to get excited, but you still got to look at the chart and see what it's doing. And that's just what I see right now. Um, I actually, I sold a few covered calls today too, based on what I saw. But what I do just to make sure that I don't, um, give away my shares is I try to sell them out for the most part. I sell them out. Um, I have my eight bucks for like September, maybe in August too, because if I'm wrong, you can't be a hundred percent. And if you're wrong, you want to have some, uh, room to operate on. So I sold them out a little bit and I bought back my sold puts. If we fall down here, then I'll buy back my covered calls and I'll sell more puts and then I'll ride my shares up to here. And then I plan on either selling covered calls or in one of my accounts, I'll be able to sell my whole position. And you might think I'm crazy for that, but I'm just relying on my charting to say that when we do fall again, it could be to another all time low. So. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'll do an update on Monday because it's going to be interesting to see what exactly happens right here. We'll see if they just keep on pumping it or the more likely option that they fall below six going into um, the rest of the week. So I will uh, see you guys on Monday.